Okay, we're going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Uh, would we start with our pledge and then Pat will do our prayer for us, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord and Father in heaven, we come before you today thanking you for all the blessings you've given to us. We ask you to bless us tonight if we enter this meeting that we will we'll discuss the affairs and business of this city in the most equitable and fair manner. Give us the wisdom and the judgment to make these decisions wise according to what's best for our citizens. All these things we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Welcome our big crowd out tonight. Thank you all for coming out. The sun's actually shining. I don't know why anybody's here, but pretty day after what twenty-four hours, maybe thirty-six hours with no rain. Uh, getting close. <laughs> That's a record. Okay. Well, we'll just get right in here and start off with the approval of previous minutes. I make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion. A second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. The next item is the bills. Move to pay all bills. <coughs> second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Old business. First item is to approve the second reading of the amendment for the restaurant tax ordinance, which was just cleaning up. That's some of the stuff AB worked on to clean up some stuff that just wasn't. Make a motion that we approve line. the second reading of the restaurant tax amendment, ordinance amendment. Second. We have a motion second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. The next item is the second reading of the water line protection ordinance. Now, Mary, if I'm reading this right, they need a date in there saying if they haven't paid their water bill. Right. Yeah, <coughs> Do you remember what the old one was? Because we probably didn't. I put 30 days myself. That means that, because that means if it's not paid, their water bill had been paid. And the water's already turned off. Yeah, 30 days or something. Oh, no, that was claims paid. I'm sorry? That was still paying claims. It's going to be 30 days. I don't know that that was in offline. Uh, 40 days, no later than 40 days after receipt from the customer. Do we just want to leave it the same as what they had? I think 30 is the best. Yeah. I think that's good. The 40 or 30? 30. Okay, 30? Is everybody good I'm with 30? I'm good with 30 also. I'm fine with 30. Okay, so we do need this motion for the second reading of this. I move for the second reading of the Beard uh, Elm Water Line Repair. Our ordinance. Second. Can we have a motion and second? Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Next item is the Arbor Day resolution. If you give me just a minute, I think I know, but. Actual Arbor Day is April 26th, but I'd like to request we do ours for April 27th. Change this date to bottom here. Hmm? Just change that date there. What, I know it's in my pack. What date was it? It was 26. It says that's the 27. Well, let, let's let's leave it to 26 because that is the official day. We can always do something because there's something I'd like to do that weekend. Well, you're gonna, it doesn't have to be on that day. You can yeah, do. right. Let's leave it at the 26. Okay. Then. But we do need the resolution. That's part of our uh, Tree City USA designation. I'm going to approve the uh, Arbor Day resolution. Second. We have a motion to second and further discussion. Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Declare a 1988 Ford Ranger surplus. Yes. Do you really want to get rid of it? Huh? Do you really want to get rid of it? It's time to go. Time to <laughs> uh, this will be one truck we'll sell and we'll replace it come new physical bunch of years. So. Good deals. Ask, yeah, I'd ask that y'all put it on good deals. 
make a motion that we declare the 98 forward ranger surplus and put it on gov deals i'll second okay we have a motion and a second is there any further discussion those in favor signify that uh post same motion passes approve the klc workers comp grant and it's on your packet Well, all that's going to be for. It's going to include nitro gloves, uh, diamond grip latex gloves, uh, hmm, two kinds of diamond grip latex gloves, OSHA 10 hour training for uh, employees, some men working signs, and then some traffic cones. What's that total up to, Mary? I don't. We were at 2,900. Okay. We were just about maxed out at 3,000. Okay. <laughs> Make a motion that we approve the KLC workers' compliment. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the Charter Communications franchise. Did they change anything, Mary? There's nothing that has changed. Um, I've actually discussed it with KLC. We do have to bid out, even though they. That would still be the only one we would receive, but that's just the process we've got to do bidding out. It's not, it doesn't fall under the service designation? No, we're, it, we are actually expired, which we can do. I mean, we can still continue. Right. Of course, it it continues that. until we Whatever update it or change it. The new agreement, we still got to do, I guess I need approval to put the ad in the paper and do bid now for We need a motion to approve putting that out to bids then. So, second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify that. Aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. So it'll be for 30 days. Mm -hmm. be a, leave it out for the coach on next month. One I don't, month. Do you have to? And I'll have to follow my 721 day rule, so yeah. I'll have to look at my calendar what next month's following. We may have to have a special call meeting to do all this. I think that's right. I said, no one's going to bet on it because no one else is going to come in and put up the cable lines on the poles. But. Baseball park rental. Yes, I've got a lady from Columbia, Kentucky calling. Uh, she hosts numerous tournaments uh, in their area and in eastern Kentucky. And apparently there have been several teams from our area playing with, with her in the last couple of years. And uh, they have mentioned our park being really nice and wanting to maybe host something down here. And she's asking about rental fee. Uh, I know we have a, a structure on what it costs per field, lights, whatever. But is this something that the mayor and I can work with her to maybe give her a reduction of the price, maybe to get her foot in the door to maybe having something, you know, annual event down here with it? So is it just like a weekend thing that yes. she does? Yes. So it wouldn't interfere with? No. Well, oh, yeah. num num number one, we've got to get the amphitheater schedule and then the baseball schedule to see what they yeah. Most likely. I don't have a problem. Any term that she's going to do is going to be after the season. Our season's over. She's wanting to have one pretty quick. I think. Oh, really? Yeah. I think you're all pretty good on yourself. Yeah. I think it'd be a great thing to do. Yeah, because. Yeah. You know, I've actually offered it to uh, to uh, the high school girls coach the last couple of years. You know, if he want to have a tournament for a fundraiser, you know, we, we could do something. But it, it's a big job. It, it's a yeah. big job put together. So, are you all doing the. Yes. At the okay. Meeting, Jared also, I assume, but <laughs> last year he was trying to put us on schedule for a fall event as well, but I don't know how it's going to be yet. The benefactor might change. Well, so that's not okay. okay. So we're okay with this. See what we can work out on that one then. Yes. Okay. Uh, next item is housing authority water bill. He asked if I would ask tonight if you all would waive those penalties. The lady that writes their bills, he said, was out last week for the flu. Is that the 230? One would be four. 200 and something, and I think the other two is just like 30 something each, maybe. Yeah, but they got their bill the first of the month, though. I mean, it's not like she had a, she had more than a week just right to do it, did she? Well, I understand that, but I know how to set up like at our facility. I mean, Payment checks are cut. 
I mean, if, even if we got it the first and it was due the 10th, the checks probably wouldn't be cut till the week before, no matter how long we've had the bill. Now, that's just the way we do it. Have we had a lot of problem with them with I since since that. Matt's since Matt's yes. been there? Well, <laughs> once I think he's had was, one. Yeah. What is it that their pay accountant only pays them out so a certain time of the month when I write the checks? So like what it is? I think she comes in once a week, from what I understand. She can, the lady that pays the bills does it once a week. So what the fact that she wasn't available to pay this earlier? Well, she got a first the moment she had. That's what I think. Because some corporations, they only write checks that's that on us. a certain day of the month. That's us. And I can understand that if she's writing checks every week, I wonder why she had done so. Well, again, if the water bill wasn't due to the 10th, which was on Sunday, if she came in on the, was going to be here on the 4th to write checks. She got the 2nd of the prior month. Is that correct? No. The no, I don't think so. Mailed, It'd mail that on the 25th or 6th. It'll be mailed on the 20th, usually right after cutoff day, so yeah. I don't know how that fell last month. I disconnected on the 25th, did my bill, and then I had to go back to the afternoon. They went out on February 26th. She may have had it by February 28th. And if she only, and I feel like I should abstain from this, but if she only comes in once a week, depending upon when she actually got it in her hand, it may not have been. <coughs> so if she came in on Thursday and wrote out checks, and it ended up there on Friday. I can just see it's been happening for more than one. Well, that's the only housing authority we have. Yeah. What I'm saying is McDonald's next. So Derek, where, where, where does he draw the line? Well, but this is kind of an intergovernmental agency, too. I haven't wanted this before, because I think we did this a few years ago a discussion, Larry. You might refresh my memory. Like, the 10th was on Sunday. Why do we not consider that Monday count? Uh, not have a penalty then until after the 11th on Monday? Yeah, it's like we tell everybody else, you know, we got a drop box, they can still drop in the box. I agree, no, with, I agree with you on that, by huh? the way. <laughs> you what? I agree with him, by the way, on that. Uh, that, that, that doesn't IRS, matter the question, Larry. Taxes, not, if not the done 15th that, comes on a Sunday, you've got to the 16th. Sunday, you, to usually you'll have to Monday to be included. It doesn't matter whether you've got a drop box or not. It's just a good customer relation thing. It's uh, what, we're, what, we're, what we're building. So the, the drop box shouldn't figure into it. Especially in the people that, corporations, that offices, businesses. So they don't write them on a weekend like individual can. So that's something I think we need to look at too for the future is that when it falls on a, oh, a Sunday or time when we're closed, it ought to be the next day. That's, that doesn't answer this question, but. It's uh, a, just a one-time question, right? It's not for all the time. Right. And she paid it today? The whole thing. Yes. Well, he did. They paid the smaller amount, not the penalty amount. Well, <coughs> and they and they, they paid it on the eleventh. Or paid it today. Yes. Today. Mm -hmm. I understand it. That it's uh, you know it, it's a corporation thing, but, and I also understand that you may be opening the doorway for a, a can of worms. But I, I do see that it. I can see their point. I, I can see that. You know. Well, and it is we would kind of our agency. Huh? We. I know we, we, we appoint the board members to it, so it's sort of a quasi-city agency. What kind of bookkeeping nightmare would it be for your, in, you to do that in your system? <coughs> to adjust the penalty off? Yeah, if we did, if we did that. It wouldn't become, a, wouldn't become a problem if it happened uh, 
that we put it in the policy. Wouldn't it be a problem to you in the future? Um, like if it's falling, if the due date's on a weekend, we probably have to change the ordinance because right now the ordinance is written penalties are automatically the 11th. Okay. Um, there would be a problem for your bookkeeping system, though. Problem. But your bookkeeping no, system. No, that would just be something I've got to okay. remember in my head. I know ordinance that you change, but. If we change that date, we might order to change the disconnect date, too, then. If it falls on a. To what date? The disconnect. If it falls on a Sunday. Well, that's. It's, I mean, if you change one, it's, we already changed it. It's other. logical. Yeah. That's what we do, isn't it, on a disconnect? We don't disconnect on Saturdays or Sundays, do we? No, but if, if a disconnect comes up on the 20th and it's on a Sunday, we disconnect on Monday. Yeah, right? so you're already doing so, that. So, yeah, but so we would need to change that date. <laughs> Tuesday. And we don't disconnect on Fridays. And we well, you wouldn't do it on Tuesday. Why would you need to change it to Tuesday? When's the disconnect date? 24th. Okay, let's say the 24th is going to be on a uh, on, on a to, on a on a Sunday. We wouldn't disconnect until that the Monday, next day. The Monday. Monday. Yeah. Do it on Monday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you do now, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I thought you said Tuesday. I could have figured out why Tuesday. No, we, we don't. We try not to disconnect on Friday to have people out of work through the weekend. <coughs> and, and, that's, and that's a courtesy that's to us. In our, in our yeah. businesses, we actually make a few phone calls, you know, because we don't want to business without water through the weekend or, you know, our period. Uh, we have we have made a few calls here in the last couple of months and we end up shutting one off. So we try to give them every, every option. But we'll need this in the form of a motion for runaway this. It's about $243. I'll make a motion that we wait and, and <coughs> let them understand this is a one time thing. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. And that passed. Yeah, and I just Three like to, and she's Sandy abstained. Sandy's mom's on the board of the housing <laughs> authority. Just yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> so we know, well, I'm not sure everybody was aware of that. Mister comments. What what was it that you all were talking about with your water line protection of 30 days? Or what was if that? if they are 30 days late on a water bill, and then something happens to their line, that means they hadn't paid the coverage for that it would be it wouldn't be in effect okay. so if they were 30 days late on a bill on their water they bills, got a leak then after that 30 day period after that 30 day, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be covered okay. that's all i have all right okay jim do yeah. you have anything to bring in no no at this point i think everything's going you know, i'm i'm tickled with some things I even got somebody following me out of the office the other day complimenting me. It scared me a little bit. <laughs> 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 Take well, no, when I was a pastor for 30 years, when you was getting ready to be complimented, you was getting ready to somebody get ready to nail your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy? Mm -hmm. No, only just one minor, minor, minor thing. <coughs> Someone brought to my attention that the flag at the cemetery that there's no light there? Is there a street light that's there's, not? There's a light. Charles got it for us. On the cemetery? I didn't get that light before. You Somebody said you were going to do it. Was it Bud Shannon? Was it Bud Shannon? Uh, anyway, well, it mounted. It's so So is it out? Because they said when they came through at night that there was no light shining on yeah, it. Yeah, that's uh, Bobby, Bob Shannon. Bob, Bob yeah. He said he'd pay up back. We, we supposed to get it right him. Well, he brought he brought it to us. Did he? Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't hear. I knew that. somebody brought one. It's announced on the pole and the solar, and so we'll, we'll check. So maybe bulb or something. Yeah. Okay. You, ho you Thank hope you. it's plot strong enough to shine up there too. We well, haven't had any sun. <laughs> that could be part of the problem. that. Could be. <laughs> Charles, yeah. No, we're good right now. Larry. Yes, uh, we've had a few people come in the office the past couple of weeks buying tickets for the concerts and. Everybody wants to come to the front. Uh, there's no address on this building whatsoever. We need to letter it, sticker it somehow. I'm assuming this portion here, we'll get with Charlie, we can get the Charlie Shields. This is going to be a broad address, and the 309 West 2nd is going to be on the front. So do we need to put the, the addressing on the gable end or just on the door? We don't want two addresses. Mm -mm. 
So we're going to use the well with second. Yeah, the real second. Well, 309 was second, but we had forever because it was always the office. This here was the fire, the fire department. Fire department. Uh -huh. I don't know what the address on this section was. Did the fire department have a separate address? No, it's our house. I think all the buildings in the office. That's what they, they all use that one out of my knowledge. Maybe I'll just stick with West Second. You don't think we're going to have a broad address on this one here? Just to yeah, but I think that'd be very confusing. Okay. Okay. But we do need some signage on the doors. Well, Mike and I have been trying to sit down. We've not made that yet to do some signage. That's the only thing I've heard about. Out front for police and for City Hall. Well, the police have got there in pretty good shape. Well, there wasn't something out on the sidewalk, sidewalk. so you can see it coming up the road. Yeah, I mean, we might be able to put something out here as far as saying uh, office uh, around on the Second Street if you want to do anything out here. Some kind of directional sign. Okay. Uh, and I will be starting on the 2019 2020 budget here pretty soon. So. If you have any infos, wish list, besides Paul, um, greatly appreciate it. Oh, Let's we go. got money. You haven't had my wish list yet. I'm just going to write my own budget. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell Paul what I want. <laughs> we'll write our own budget. <laughs> Mary, do you have anything we need to cover? I think we're good. It's hard enough. Okay. Larry, you're done? Oh, are you done? I, I thought he was. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. That's it. Motion to adjourn. Second. Kevin's not here. It's short. Did you? Did we ask oh, our guests if they had anything? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did I miss?